hello there welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you are welcome don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button if you're an old viewer thank you for stopping by today i'll be teaching how to make this gorgeous gold headband with rhinestone now let's get started okay so i needed a bigger alice band unfortunately i didn't find one so this one is a used alice band but you know me i will be making it a little bit wider now watch so to make it wider i decided to use this thing called front shoelace i bought it sometime at the leather market and it came in handy today what i'll do is use my hot glue to attach the alice band to the front shoelace make it a little wider and then start making my beautiful gorgeous gold headband okay let's get right into it okay so my glue gun is plugged and hot and ready to be used so you're going to um, apply just a little at a time and then you know glue it to the front shoe lining I don't know if that's what it's called but that's what the man at Mushi Market called it okay so watch closely that's what I'm going to do okay press that down and ensure it is glued on if it's not glued on you need to hold it to ensure it's glued on because if you don't when you put or apply hot glue to the other part of the alice band and it's not glued properly it will loose okay did i get that right okay yes <laughs> it will come off rather all right so that's what i'm going to do and please don't forget you have to be very careful with a hot glue gun god if that thing should touch you woo, you'll confess all your sins all right so as you can see i'm taking it a little at a time you know until i get to the end and once you get to the end all you need to do is just cut off and you know shape it to the size you want you can make yours wider you can make it shorter but i don't want mine to be too wide you get i just want it to be a little bit extra okay so i have gotten the shape i want or no all right so can you see that i'm following the shape of the alice band from the beginning of the alice band is really slim then the middle is a little bit wide and then the other way down is a little bit slim so that's what i'm doing you can do yours anyhow you want it however you do it it's always going to turn out beautiful all right so we have cut applied the front shoe lacing or whatever it's called and we are ready to go so that's the shape i have gotten the next thing i want to do is cover it with ribbon now i'm going to be using this um gold ribbon i got it for 500 naira in the market i don't know if it's still 500 naira so i'm going to cover it all the way using my uhu glue okay please watch so the trick to using uhu glue with fabric is when you apply it on whatever surface you want to glue the ribbon or the trimming on just wait a little bit for it to be tacky that's a little bit dry because if it's still wet there's a tendency that it's going to seep out you know through the ribbon fabric okay so mine is tacky now and it's time for me to start wrapping our alice band okay so um first off i want to ensure that the ribbon is glued on by you know pressing it down very well and then to make it easy for me to wrap i'm just going to pinch a little bit you see that just pinch it a little and then fold that makes it easier for you to wrap it okay without having um too much of pleats in the beginning okay so watch closely pinch it and then fold can you see that smooth and easy people please if you have any questions don't forget to drop them in the comments i'll be sipping through the comments or rather sieving through the comments okay so you're just going to keep wrapping now the trick with wrapping is if you watch closely i'm doing it in a kind of slanted motion yeah and you don't want to wrap too tight because if you wrap too tight the that lace that um paper stuff is going to fold you get and you don't want it to fold so once you're done wrapping mm, 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 apply your uhu glue and then you know glue it on again because we will be covering now with a metallic ribbon okay all right so let's get started on our metallic ribbon covering this is gorgeous you can use this on its own if you like okay okay Next is to cover with the metallic ribbon and it's just the same thing. The same thing we did with the ribbon, that's the same thing we will do with the metallic ribbon. Apply your UHU glue to the 
to the inner parts then continue wrapping and that's exactly what i'm doing okay so i'm done now it's time to apply the trimmings now these trimmings they sell them for around i think 600 and sometimes in some places um 1000 naira it depends on your location in lagos like i think it's cheaper if you go to the market to get it and they use these trimmings mostly for the halo crowns okay so using our uh, uhu gum i'm applying you hate you gum all over the alice band now all over all over okay once you're done applying it all over you need to wait for the glue to be a little bit dried before you start applying the trimmings on the alice band i hope you've understood everything so far but don't forget if you have any questions i'm here to answer all of your questions okay so watch closely can you see the part that looks like it's a triangle is facing the outer part of the ribbon while the other side is facing is that is facing the inner part of the ribbon and i'm fixing it in the middle of the ribbon you understand this when we get to the end of this part now it's easy for this to sit on the ribbon because i applied the uhu yeah now i'm going to do the same thing to the half the middle part again but this time around i need you to watch closely can you see that the way i'm applying it is giving it a kind of um triangle shape um is that triangle i think it's rectangle but you can see that it's making them look like there's a box or the space in the middle that space in the middle is where the rhinestones will sit and like i said it's easy for this to sit on the rib on the alice band because i already applied my uhu gum okay so that's why it's easy for it to sit properly now don't forget i did not apply tons and tons of glue you need to be very very careful with the glue just apply enough and then just wait for it to be tacky and your your ribbon is your trimming is going to sit smooth and easy on your alice band okay Woohoo! this is looking really pretty don't you say okay so the next step after this cut off the excess but i need to apply some glue there because there's no glue there and don't forget you need to wait a little for it to be a little bit dried okay all right so everything is glued on properly so i'm cutting off the excess from either side and next step is to fold in those parts that look like triangles that are pointing out on either side yes those parts it's time to fold them in so my uhu gum is finished so the next glue that i'll use is the b7000 glue that's one very powerful glue and it's perfect for um fixing those tiny rhinestones on bird cage veils or your clothes you know or your headbands okay so apply them on those tips yeah and then you need to wait until it is dried a little before you start folding in so fold in and it will sit perfectly on the alice band and that's exactly what i'm doing right now so fold it, the left and the, the right hand side okay so let's continue i hope you have enjoyed every step it took to get to this point but don't forget that if you have any questions i am here and don't be a stranger follow me on instagram at zofa headwear and at zofa headwear school okay so i'm almost done and also i also have online classes in different headwear okay this is what the headband looks like can you see that you can even rock this alone all right guys thanks for watching see you in step two